Merci beaucoup. Ladies and gentlemen, Norbert Muller. Ouais. Merci, c'est une grande émotion. Et je vais parler en anglais pour euh, toutes les personnes qui sont anglophones ici. Je pense que c'est important. David Richards est en anglais. Et je pense que c'est mieux si je fais euh, ce texte. Je vais te préparer. Alors, c'est avec une grande émotion que je parle aujourd'hui pour payer tribute à mon ami David Richards, qui a passé trop tard, juste 10 ans avant. It all started when Rita Valesi and I came up with the idea of organizing Mountain Studios tours. Fans from all over the world would come to Montreux to see this legendary studio where the greatest artists had recorded, particularly Queen and David Bowie, of course. They would even knock on the door in the hope of being able to visit it. And very often they would be greeted by David himself who would take the time to talk to them and tell them so many stories, often to the detriment of his work. So we decided to create tours all year round. Twice a week to complement the Memorial Day, we were organizing for Freddie's birthday with my friend Peter Freestone. In this way, David was no longer disturbed, but could also continue to welcome the fans, something he loved to do and he did so well. I'm holding in my hand the certificate we used to give to fans who came to visit the studio. It contained, it contained the dates and their names and it was then signed by David. Lots of emotions. I had hundreds of great memories with him. And I remember one that still makes me smile even 20 years later. We had booked a tour for a group, but David had forgotten to tell me he was going to Japan. Just as I thought we were going to have to cancel the visit, I can still see him giving me the keys to Mountain Studios and telling me, Norbert, you've been going on this tour so many times, you know the whole story from listening to me. And that's what happened. Typically the amazing David. David, a strong character, who recounted his memories with such emotion. How many fans I've seen cry while listening to him and often at the same moment when he, he was explaining the last recording with Freddie. Freddie, whom David went to pick up from his apartment very nearby several times a day to help him get to the studio to record. Freddie singing and recording Mother Love first standing up next to David, then sitting down, then virtually lying down on the mixing table, exhausted, but brave. My good friend David, I was there to support him when the former casino was bought by the French group Barrier, and it was very difficult to accept that nothing would ever be the same again. Months of dialogue and negotiations to keep Mountain Studios in the heart of Montreux, which has become an iconic venue the world over. We can thank and applaud David for trying so hard. But when the conditions weren't agreed, David left to set up home not far away from here, and the page in the history of Montreux has been turned forever. So today, knowing that this bust will be unveiled here, then set up in the mountain studio, touches me deeply. I find my friend where I have seen him shine so many times.
David, you. David, you will never be forgotten. I will never forget you. And now. that nothing would have been possible today without the huge work of Christoph, Bernard, the sculpture, and my son Lucien. I think they, they have done a huge work. They've been working like mad over one year to make this possible. Thank you guys. Thank you to all of you.